Now to interact with the view, we said that we are going to use the data bindings and we have different types of data bindings. The first type of data binding is named interpolation. And what this basically does is that it gets a property value from the component to the view. Another one is the property binding. And for this one, we use the square brackets. Another one is event binding. So we bind an event from a view to a component. An event could be, for example, a click. And the last one is a two-way binding. We bind a field on the view with a property on the component. And once we change the value of the data in our view, the value for this property is going to be changed as well. Let's see the interpolation, event binding and the two-way binding on this part. And we are going to see the property binding on an upcoming part. So for that, let's go to the home component.ts file. And in here, I'm going to declare a property. Course title is equal to books notes. So now we have the property in here. This means that we can use the interpolation to display this value on our view. And to do so, let us just create an h1 tag. And inside this h1 tag, we add the interpolation curly brackets. And in here, we need to write the property name that we want to display. So the course title. And here we could write course title is course title. Save the changes and open the browser. You will see that course title is the books notes. The second data binding is the event binding. So let us create an h2 tag. And in here we write click here. And to bind in here, we need to use the normal brackets. So we are going to bind this one to a click event. In here, we write the function that is going to be executed when we click this h2 tag. So in here, I'm going to write clicked. Now we have declared the data binding, but we need to go and create this function in our model. So in our model, we write clicked, just console.log h2 clicked. And if you go to your view, let's open the console by pressing F12 and let's click in here. So we see that every time we click, the click is being executed. The last data binding was the two-way binding. So let's go in our view and in here we create an input tag and we are going to bind this input tag with our course title. So for that, we open the square brackets and inside the square brackets, we open the normal brackets and we write ng model. So the model that I'm going to bind with is the course title. So at this point, I have created a two way binding with the course title property, and the course title property is interpolated at the h1. So let's go to our view one more time. And here you see an error it says that cannot bind to ng model since it is not a known property to input. And if you get this error, it means that in order to use the two-way data binding from the inputs, we need to import the forms module. So to import a module, we go to app.module.ts and here on the import section, we need to import the forms module. The forms module belongs to the angular slash forms library. So let us first import it and here we write forms, import forms module, Angular forms. To use this module or all the modules that we are going to configure on the future, on the imports we need to write forms module. We save the changes and we go back to the browser. And here we see that the error is gone and the course title, which is a book note, is bound to our input. If we change the value in here, we see that the because of two-way binding, the value up is going to be changed as well. And that's how you configure the two-way binding in an Angular application. So guys, this is all for this part. And on the next part, we are going to create all the components that we are going to need in our application. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.